dear students and viewers i am g anand uh, i am working as an assistant professor in the department of chemistry in the st joseph's college of arts and science kadalur india okay today my topic is jan teller distortion okay actually jan teller distortion uh, this jan teller uh, the scientist jan and teller were uh, discovered one thing that this uh, distortion is exhibited in the uh, d9 system of the copper 2 plus system okay what actually they have uh, told that this statement is called jan teller theorem okay any non linear molecular system with an asymmetrical electronic distribution in a degenerate orbitals will be unstable and therefore it will be undergoing some kind of distortion which will lower its symmetry and energy by splitting the degenerate state okay before going to explain this uh, theorem this statement i want to say one thing okay so in day to day life uh, we normally use one word if the if the basement is strong then we will say that the building also will be strong if the basement is weak then uh, the, then the building will be looking uh, weak so uh, let me say in the another word that if our body temperature is normal then we will be looking normal if our body temperature is found to be elevated then we will also be looking uh, not normal as well as we are we, are, uh, we will be looking feverish okay so likewise in the any non linear molecular system in any non non linear molecular system there should be if there uh, any distribution that is the electronic distribution is followed in the asymmetrical manner okay let me repeat once again if the, in the non linear molecular system the electronic distribution is found to be asymmetrical then that non linear system will not remain as a perfect non linear system instead it will be undergoing some distortion okay let me take one example in the copper 2 plus complex when copper 2 plus that is copper 2 plus we know that it is d9 system okay if this if this copper 2 plus this d9 system is surrounded by some six ligands 1 2 3 4 5 6 six ligands therefore it will be forming a perfect octahedral perfect octahedral as a geometry but actually what happens if they are surrounding or if they are if all the six ligands are coming towards the central metal atom that is copper 2 plus and forms a non linear octahedral system okay it will not follow the regular or perfect octahedral system instead it will be looking somewhat distorted in nature that is distorted in nature this is called distorted octahedral before that it is a uh, it is a uh, regular octahedral okay i have drawn but because of the following of that is distribution of asymmetrical electronic distribution this octahedral this perfect octahedral will be distorted in a such a manner that into the distorted one okay so why this happens okay as i told already that if our if if our inside is perfect then our outside also will be looking perfect if our body temperature is normal then we will be looking normal likewise here we are taking we are going to arrange the electrons d9 system 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay all the d orbitals are said to be degenerate in nature degenerate means degeneracy means same energy okay when the six ligands are approaching or starting uh, or started to approaching the uh, central metal atom the five d orbitals belonging to the central metal atom will be getting uh, will be getting split into two sets okay the three uh, d orbitals are uh, are going to the t2g level uh, t2g level that is lower energy and the remaining two sets of orbitals are going to the higher energy higher energy level okay so likewise we are going to 
fill up the electrons 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 since we are having the d9 system we have arranged the nine electrons okay so let us leave this lower t2g level because all the three d generate that is same energy orbitals were getting filled or for no problem now let us go to the higher energy level in this higher energy level because these two levels are said to be degenerate in nature okay in this degeneracy in this degenerate nature both the orbitals will be competing for the x uh, the, the extra electron that is the extra third electron because both of them are in the same energy level okay suppose in the in the in the, in the classroom itself uh, i am having the 30 students in the uh, among uh, uh, for the 30 students i am going to distribute uh, notebooks i am having 40 notebooks okay so first i have to start from the first person okay after the 30 uh, 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 now i am going to uh, uh, distribute the notes so first 30 members i will complete the distribution as 30 notebooks okay now i am having remaining 10 mo uh, 10 notebooks okay that remaining 10 notebooks i cannot distribute randomly because every students are having equal right to get the notebook from me that extra notebook so in order to so 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 what will i do so in this in this case i have to split the students in order to issue the notebooks evenly so therefore i can split the students in uh, in any way or in in uh, in 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 whatever criteria okay so i have to uh, split, uh, split the students uh, in some other way in a such a way that so that i can give the excess 10 notebooks likewise this third electron should be owned by any of these two electrons any of these two sorry any of the, these two orbitals so in order to get this extra electron i have to modify this perfect octahedral into distorted octahedral okay for the perfect octahedral for the perfect octahedral these are t2g and eg suppose if i want to elongate that is i am going to give the distortion okay if i want to give the distortion in this uh, octahedral i have to remove uh, these two ligands which are present in the z axis okay so now in the eg level i am having dx square minus y square and dz square orbitals so if i want to remove the yeah, these two ligands from these uh, perfect octahedral then these two ligands will experience and the orbitals of the d z square will experience the less repulsion due to this res, uh, less repulsion the d z square orbital the lobes of the d z square orbital will experience the lowest energy so that's why this d generate that is these same energy orbitals will be getting uh, or will lose their degeneracy and then getting split okay so since d z square orbital is experiencing the less repulsion and it will go uh, it will be going to the d z square that is a uh, less in energy and the one which is experiencing the higher repulsion is going to the higher energy level now i can now i can arrange these three electrons in a similar in in a, in a symmetric way that is by following the hun's rule okay seventh electron eighth electron then ninth electron okay right therefore now i am splitting the student likewise now i am splitting the that is the system itself split the split its own d orbitals in such a manner so that uh, the metal ion could form the uh, could follow the Hund's rule therefore the three electrons will be arranged in the arranged in this manner therefore the extra uh, d x square minus y square orbital cannot uh, climb for the that extra electron so this is called jan teller distortion in this jan teller distortion we can see that uh, mm, two cases one is z in case another one is z out case z in case 
and one one more is is it out case so far we have seen that is it out case what is meant by is it out case means we can remove or uh, we can uh, partly remove the is it ligands um, in such a way that somewhat elongated that is called is it is it out case so uh, that is it out case we have seen so far okay what is is it in case in that is it in case the in the z in case the electrons which are present in the z axis will be uh, will be brought closer very closer to the central metal atom okay when we are doing this uh, this uh, uh, this job the is d z square orbital is experiencing more energy therefore the splitting will be like this that is d z square orbital we will be getting higher energy and the d x square minus y square orbital will be getting lower energy why this d x square minus y square orbital uh, lobes are getting very lower energy means when these two ligands are coming very closer the ligands which are present in the d x square minus y square lobes are no other way should uh, should go uh, away from the z axis ligands right okay so this is called is a tin case okay sir so uh, this is a gentle distortion uh, but um, one more question you can ask that sir when will you uh, uh, can we predict uh, which models uh, will uh, follow the z in case and which models will form the uh, z out case but theoretically it cannot be predicted only is it out cases uh, only followed in uh, 90% of the system okay therefore uh, i have given one model that is uh, for uh, cu2 plus cu2 plus sometimes co2 plus C co2 plus low spin co2 plus low spin co2 plus and sometimes chromium 2 plus chromium 2 plus that is high spin chromium 2 plus d4 system d4 system high spin 1 2 3 4 so this high spin uh, uh, d4 system will follow the jantler distortion okay so these are so now uh, what i have been uh, uh, taking is following the uh, static jantler distortion jantler static jantler distortion that that's what we have seen so far one more distortion is there that is uh, dynamic jantler distortion that jantler dis that is that uh, dynamic jantler distortion is found in some cases that the t2g orbitals are not properly filled then uh, then we will be able to see as uh, see the um, dynamic jantler distortion in the d1 case it is improperly that is unsymmetrically it is filled suppose if i am having two electrons it now also it is uh, looking unsymmetrically filled now it is looking unsymmetrically filled now it is looking unsymmetrically filled so in these cases we will we will be seeing uh, the dynamic jantler distortion but this di dynamic jantler distortion is not uh, uh, is having the less important so uh, let us concentrate only in the uh, jantler uh, static jantler distortion because this static jantler distortion is having lot of applications uh, especially in the esr spectroscopy okay uh, in in the in, in predicting the uh, uh, g value okay whether it is whether it is having the uh, higher g value or lower g value okay uh, okay my dear students uh, uh, that's what about the jantler distortion uh, let me say one word if the if the system is improper then the electronic distribution also would found to be unsymmetrical so that's what about the jantler distortion thank you